Broadway quality live entertainment is right in your backyard. Take a look as we shine the spotlight on another production playing on Long Island. I know a funny little man as quiet as a mouse who causes trouble all the time in everybody's house. Though no one ever sees his face, we all of us agree that every plate that's broke is broke by Mr. Nobody. The show is Goodnight Moon and I play the bunny. He's very hyper. He's just on that edge of like sleep, but I'm not tired, but I'm exhausted. So he has that like last burst of final energy that every child of that age would have. And they're just fighting it off at any will. They'll listen to anything. They'll look for anything. A speck of dust could take their attention just to keep them awake. Woo. I got a loose tooth, see? They took a lot of the themes from the book and, and brought them to life. So as the bunny is saying good night or hello, those objects in the room to him are animated objects. The bears number, when the bears come in, is probably one of my favorite parts. It, it really shows the imaginative um, aspect of the show and what a child's imagination could really bring to life. I pushed it with my tongue, we tied it to a string, and gave the string a blow, and then the door was hit. I think that I'm the bunny sidekick at this point. Um, I even, there are times where I'll be like, oh, go get the draft, and go get this, and get this, and we basically just like to cause trouble and are doing anything to stay up and to have more fun and to not go, in, to, not go to sleep at this point. And when I come back, I want you to be fast asleep. I will be. So will I be, too. Well, see to it that you are, and not another piece out of you, too. Beep, 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 beep. It's just a lot of fun that we get to bring this to life because I remember reading it as a kid and I think that's really cool because everyone in the audience, both the parents and the kids, probably had that moment where they remember being kids and it being read to them. <laughs> My favorite part, um, it would have to be the uh, Bears with Chairs number. Um, I'm, I can kind of get competitive with games, so when playing musical chairs, I enjoy it and having to, to really get there, but I do lose every time. Good night, old lady whispering hush. Good night. We believe that she's more of a nanny figure um, to the little bunny, um, not so much a mom or a grandmother, just, you know, the caretaker and, and more like a babysitter type. You know, and I know, I can't jump over no moon. I already tried two times. And didn't make it. Cows can't fly. They can't even jump high. But you're so perfect, some people. I wasn't really sure how I was going to do the cow, you know, what kind of voice I would speak with, and I just kind of played around with a couple of things. Um, and that is my favorite character because I, I love the underlying, you know, story of keep going until you get it, don't give up, keep trying. Cat and A bunch of my friends, they always say, oh, what show are you doing now? What show are you doing now? And I told them I was doing Good Night Moon. And they were like, how are you going to put that on stage? And I said to myself, hmm, I don't know. Then we started rehearsal, and now I say to them, come see it. Tooth fairy, tooth fairy. I'm the fella called the tooth fairy. I'll take your tooth and leave you on Nicole or a dime or a quarter. Basically my character, he showed up, thought he was gonna be the plumber that particular day, and then they said, no, nah, Tooth Fairy called out sick. You gotta go uh, deliver this dime to this bunny who just lost his tooth. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the greatest show on earth. I speak with a lisp when I play the cat and no one in the audience is safe. Bring your umbrellas, <laughs> seriously. Good night, calm. Good night, brush. Good night, nobody. Good night, mush.
Good night, old lady whispering hush. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. Good night.